Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Four and a half years ago, I wrote a slightly ranty blog post to Clarins about the release of Double Serum. At the time, it was uh, 20 plant extracts in a mineral oil base. And I, the blog post was called The Review That Never Was, and I said, I can't review it because I've just got my skin to a good place and I don't want to be using mineral oil on it. They were very, very sweet. They didn't strike me off and they continued to talk to me. Jump to early 2017, they contacted me and said, Caroline, literally like that. We are re-releasing Double Serum. We have revamped it and we have removed the mineral oil. Oh, I'm so excited, look. So this is the new Double Serum. Hydric and Lipidic System. It is the same product that was loved by so many people. It's just now it's a bit more user friendly to those of us who don't like mineral oil. They have massively revamped the ingredients. It still has the original 20 plant extracts. They've thrown in another one, which is a much more potent derivative of turmeric or turmerone, which basically makes everything else play well together and makes it all just, oh God, okay. When I'm talking to facial clients about taking care of their skin at home, I always say to them, treat your skin as if you are treating or looking after a delicate plant like an orchid. We are far more gentle with plants than we are our own face. In order to have a healthy skin and plant, you have to feed it, water it, protect it, oxygenate it, and those four will help regenerate it, or in the skin's case, push the cells up and make everything glow and gorgeous. A good healthy system will take care of the oxygenating and the regeneration. What this will do is help support the others. But that depends on your skin. If you're a combination skin, you'll notice a visible difference in your pores. If you're dehydrated or dry, you'll notice an immediate improvement in fine lines and wrinkles. And it is suitable for all ages, all skin types, all ethnicities, which I have to say is something I love they've added to their packaging. All ages, all ethnicities, all skin types, even sensitive skin. You do one pump in the palm of your hand, therapist swipe, apply to the skin, and then in the morning you follow with moisturiser and SPF, and in the evening you would either leave it on its own or follow with your nighttime moisturiser. The last month or so I have really challenged my skin for numerous reasons. This has saved my bacon. It's been a one-stop shop. I haven't had to think about anything. I've just grabbed this, used it morning and night, and definitely found fine lines and wrinkles go almost immediately, which you would expect because of the oil content. It definitely gives me clarity, and this is just for me because obviously I'm 48, I'm not 27. It gives me a clarity that is sometimes hard when you have red patches and you look a bit dull. My, my skin tends to look very sallow. It is an absolute no-brainer. Hydrating, nourishing, moisturizing, soothing, calming, regenerating. It does it all and it does it all in one bottle. It's a 50 ml bottle. I've had mine for about a month, I wanna say. Here's a nice new one. Here's mine. Look at that. It is gonna last you a long time. What I love about Clarins is that even though the other version of this has won numerous awards, they are willing to go back to the drawing board and say, you know what, maybe we could make that better and more improved for 2017. And I am so grateful that they have finally let me join the party. Okay, that's the newness. Now my sort of cherry picked items from the existing range. This was really hard to narrow down. I have used Clarins for 30 years, slightly more than 30 years, religiously. I've always got something from Clarins on my dressing table or in my bathroom, always. Um, some notable omissions, but ones that I will still put down below and still put on the blog. The hand cream, Clarins hand cream, Intensive Nail and Hand Treatment, I do believe it's called, is iconic. It's one of their best sellers. My mum used it for years, then I took over and stole it. She still uses it, I just have to buy my own. Um, it's a great, great hand cream. They used to make a product called Extra Comfort Cleansing Cream, or Extra Comfort, yes, Extra Comfort Cleansing Cream. It was my favorite cleanser on earth and then they discontinued it. However, you cannot talk about Clarins without talking about cleansing. These two are from the existing range. They've been around a long time. They are still brilliant. They are a milk. In the lingo in Clarins land, they're called Gentian and Alpine. They look like this. So give that a minute. 
This is gentian, the white one. Alpine is sort of a lovely bluey green. Alpine is for normal to dry. Focus, thank you. Gentian is for normal to combination. But here's the joy of it. They're not so um, strong in their departments that you can't switch and use either. I would happily grab either of these no matter how my skin was on any given day. The Clarins way to cleanse is to suction off. I still can't be bothered, I'm so sorry. I'd still do the whole massage it all over and take it off with a flannel. They will take your makeup off, but I do like these as a second cleanse because they're so nice on the skin. Next up, now it was gonna be the Pure and Radiant mask. Now that, I still have one of those because I tend to hoard, as we know. That has now been revamped as part of the new Clarins mask ranges, which I have to say, first of all, shout out to the packaging, look at these. I didn't wear the t-shirt to make them look good, but don't they? So there's the Nourishing SOS Comfort Nourishing Balm Mask. This is obviously if you're a bit dry. Blue in Clarins world is always hydration, always. So SOS Hydra is Refreshing Hydration Mask. That's that one. This is my favorite. This is where, this is what my old favorite has been reincarnated as. I am here. SOS Pure Rebalancing Clay Mask. Looks like this. This is probably easier. It is so wet and malleable. You can almost make a really thin cream out of it, leave it on, wash it off after 10, 15 minutes. Obviously, if you wanna to go to town and do a whole big 10, 15 minute thicker layer, that's up to you. But it's, for me, it's brightening, tightening, just makes everything kind of sit up a bit better. It's also great if you have open spots or any kind of, any breakout to be honest, but it's nice and gentle. It's not super extortionately expensive either. Mwah. I have two skincare left. I, it was hard to pick, um, but these two are sort of, they've been on the blog a lot. They've been in my collection forever. And I figured when I was making the list, I was lying in bed going, I'm gonna add my best, my sort of my cherry picks to this video. And then I was like, well, how could you possibly pick I, I went with the top five that came into my head. The other one that's omitted is the tonic range, which is a body range. I wanted to stick to face for this video. That was in my previous video, the empties video. I've used tonic, well, I used it all through my pregnancy with Ben, so that's 26 years. And I've used the tonic oil across four pregnancies for stretch marks, I don't have any. This. There are three oils in the Clarins family. There's Santal, Lotus, and Blue Orchid. Blue Orchid was my choice simply because it is the one that you can use across all skins. It's the one that mainly for dehydration. Oh my God. You know how some things have a scent that when you smell it, you're, I mean, everything does obviously, but you, you smell something and you're immediately, oh God. I love Blue Orchid. Anyway, now last one for skin. This I have used, again, I, I, I know I go on about it, but seriously, Clarins is the longest beauty love affair I've, I've had. Um, this, which is this, Skin Beauty Repair Concentrate, or SOS as we call it, is just one of those products that if your skin can't maybe take the heaviness of Blue Orchid, Lotus or Santal, it's really light. It is perfect if you've had any kind of reaction to anything, if you've had an allergy, if your skin just feels upset, almost if your skin has, has a problem with you and you think, okay, I need to treat it nicely, I need to calm down, you could do far worse than to have a look at SOS. So it literally is a lovely thin oil. I don't want it to go everywhere, there we go. Really runny, really light. This will immediately make anything you've got going on calm down, take stock. You can use it every day, you can use it twice a day, you can use it when you want. You can use it when your skin's only reactive. I tend to save it and only use it when my skin is having an issue or if I think I'm just gonna treat myself tonight. That's always one of the options that I would put on my face. I love it. Now finally, I had to give a shout out, I'm just gonna line these up nicely. I had to give a shout out to, Clarins makeup is, I think, always overlooked by the industry. But these have brought them screaming into 2017 in particular with the new additions. It is the lip treatment oils. Look at this. 
there is not one of these oh that is not gorgeous now i'm just going to apply a little bit extra what should i do let's go candy is probably my most used it is a really soft pink i don't know if you can see me sorry hang on hmm yeah attractive oh the hard thing with this oh is not to go overboard nice i like now there are loads of flavors and colors and they do have the the scent of the name there's a lovely shimmery gold which i know is really popular but i have to say the one i've used the most over the summer is the blue mint one this little gem takes your own lip color and just magnifies it so those are my picks for the existing clarins range um i hope you found this helpful i just wanted to do something a bit different and to give you a bit more information than I would normally. I didn't want to um, sort of try and fit everything in in a rushed video where I would normally have, you know, like my empties video is like quick and sharp and, and then my what's new, I wanted to be able to have a similar, a similar way about me in terms of this is great and this is great. Whereas I really wanted to give you more info on the double serum and then my favorites across the range. So let me know in the comments, let me know what you think. Um, let me know how you're getting on when this launches and I hope to see you soon. Bye. So I hope that was helpful overall. I wanted to do, just wanted to try a different style of video where as well as talking about something new, I threw in my faves just to give you a bit more information and actually just to have a dedicated video to the brand. I think that's worked well in the past with other brands that I've done and I think going forward I might replicate it just because I find it's, you know, you might not be interested at all in a particular brand I'm talking about and that means you can just watch an empties and see all of them together. However, if you have particular interest, it just gives you a lot of information without me feeling like I have to rush through it, if that makes sense. Um, I don't know what's next. See you soon.